But the offspring of other predators are still far too young to leave their parents' care. If these young 10 centimeter long Piraraku survive the perils of growing up, they will grow into three meter giants like their red scaled parents. Both parents care for their large family that numbers around a thousand. Though the Piraraku is the largest fish in the Amazon, their small offspring are vulnerable. They rise to the surface as one. Already they can breathe air just like their parents. When moving off to feed, young fish gather like an obedient class of schoolchildren. They come together as an orderly group, no one falling behind. They feed as a wall of wide open mouths. And they move out of formation only to breathe. By swimming in a line, they don't disturb the water current and so can feed more efficiently on plankton. Young Piraraku are inheritors of a way of life that their ancestors have known for more than a hundred million years. Feeding on plankton and protected by their parents, young Piraraku grow very quickly. Before long, the young reach a size where they need more substantial food. The parents now lead the young Piraraku into the fields of floating plants. Here, vast numbers of shrimp are to be found. As young fry swim among water plant roots, shrimp rise to the surface. Some leap for their lives, but to no avail. A loud cracking sound is heard as young Piraraku consume a hearty shrimp meal. At about six months of age, surviving Piraraku will begin independent lives as hunters in these rivers of the sun. 